Hey guys, so I wanted to share how we designed this year's experiment so that you can compare your design to ours. So first, we knew that we ideally wanted to have 10 different replicates for both experiments. Based on the shape of our research site, we decided that we would set up 10 big rectangular blocks as our plots. We divided each block into three different sections, and then we randomly assigned each smaller section to one of the three treatments, our woody mulch, our straw-like mulch, and our no mulch. We included the no mulch plots as our control condition, so we could see what happened if we didn't do anything to a plot. To compare how quickly woody mulch and straw-like mulch decomposed, Kendra helped us create 40 litter bags. We put mulch inside these small bags made out of mesh and then put those bags inside the smaller cages to protect them. 20 of the litter bags had woody mulch and the other 20 had straw-like mulch. We hoped that having so many bags would help our data be more reliable. Kendra weighed the litter bags for us in her lab and then put two bags with woody mulch in all of the plots that had woody mulch and two bags with straw-like mulch in all of the plots with straw-like mulch. Then we plan to come by afterwards and weigh each litter bag again. By subtracting the new weight from the original weight, we could tell how much mass each litter bag had lost, which would give us an idea of how quickly they were decomposing. We also thought about how to set up our soil moisture experiment. Since we had the 10 plots, 10 plots with woody mulch, 10 plots with straw-like mulch, and then 10 plots with no mulch, we decided to take four soil moisture readings in each plot. By taking these soil moisture readings, we hope to see if there was any difference between any of our treatment types. But we still needed to think about how we would want to measure the soil moisture. That's where you'll be able to help us with next. Building and coding a scientific instrument that we can use to measure how much moisture is in the soil. As you have probably noticed, there are a lot of different ways to set up an experiment. Ours was largely driven by the shape of our site and the fact that we knew we'd have students coming up to help us. If you come up with a different plan, that's totally okay too. It's still good to go through the process of thinking through your experimental design so that you understand what data we are trying to analyze later.